Hello everyone, this is Displace, and today I'm going to be going through the quest line to get the Dream Eater. The Dream Eater is the class weapon for Rogue and is currently best in slot for all builds in Phase 5. This is another one of those famous Rogue stealth quests that have been popular in Season of Discovery. So before we begin, if you enjoy these types of videos and want to see more, please like and subscribe to the channel. With that said, let's dive into the quest chain. The chain starts when you get an item called Intelligence Briefing. This drops off of the first boss of Blackwing Lair, Razor Gore the Untamed, and it starts a quest called the Dark Horde. This asks you to go into Black Rock Spire and break into the storeroom and steal whatever's in there. This being a stealth quest, you have to actually do this all alone. So we're gonna head into Black Rock Spire and make our way to the storeroom. So if you're like me and get lost easily, that's okay. The path to the storeroom is really easy. You start on the opposite ledge of the locked door to Upper Black Rock Spire. And from here, you're going to see a group of orcs and some wolves. So you're gonna jump down to that area and follow the path around the into this hallway and into the other side. Now there is gonna be some mobs here, so we're gonna need to avoid them, which is gonna be super easy. And then when you get out of the hallway, you're just gonna hang an immediate right, and you're going to jump down um, off of this ledge into the, the ledge below. And we're gonna do that again to this ledge, with the ultimate goal of getting down to where those tents are. Now there are tents to the left and to the right, and we are only concerned with the right ones, so, so those ones right here. And so when we jump down, um, we're just going to make our way through those tents. This is kind of a long process, so I've just sped up the video here. But our goal is just to avoid all of the orcs, which is going to be super simple, and make our way over to the spiders. Now, the spiders are a little bit more tricky, just because there are some blocking the path, like you can see here. And they do hug the wall, um, but they are actually low enough level that they should not have any problems with breaking your stealth. So after the spiders come the ogres, and we're just going to avoid them, go up this little incline and to the left, and go up this hallway. Once we actually get up the hallway, this door and these stairs actually lead up to the store. So here, we're actually going to see the mob that we need, Rage Talon Quartermaster, and we're going to pickpocket him for the storeroom key. Super simple, and then the storeroom is actually up those stairs. After that, we're gonna go up to the ramp at the end of the hallway to get to the storehouse door. We're gonna unlock it with the key that we just uh, pickpocketed and head into the back of the room and loot this chest. Now this chest is trapped, and so once you open it, a syndicate infiltrator will unstealth and attack you. Uh, she's super easy. You only need to get her down to 1% uh, health, and when that happens, she's actually going to allow you to turn in uh, the quest. So you turn in the quest and accept the next one called the enemy of my enemy. Now, uh, this infiltrator tells you that the mage named Cassius, who we know from previous phases is the mysterious C you were helping, stole a blade of devouring and asks you to go to Ravenhold. At Ravenhold, we're going to talk to Farad to turn in the quest and accept the next one called Into the Hold of Shadows. This has you go into Shadowhold and Fellwood and retrieve the blade. When we get to Shadowhold, we see that there is a red portal letting us know that this is a special instance. This is probably the hardest part of the quest because you have to get to the end of Shadowhold without being seen. And for the most part, it's fairly easy, but all of the Fellhounds have increased stealth detection. So as you can see, I was actually having problems sneaking by them. And if you're seen, uh, you get a debuff telling you that Cassis has fled. So if this happens, you have to exit the instance and go back in. There's no need to reset or anything, just leaving and coming back in is enough to reset the debuff. If you're having problems sneaking by the Fellhounds, you can put some talent points into Master Deception. Or if you have some items with improved stealth like I did, you can just equip those and you should be fine. Some of the items that you can use 
are the Filcher's Cowl, which is a quest reward from Ravenhold, uh, the Dark Mantle Boots, uh, Whisper Walker Boots, uh, which is a rogue quest from uh, a quest in Azshara, and the Emerald Leather Sabatons from the Emerald Warden Quartermaster. And if you're a Night Elf, uh, Shadow Mild gives you a passive that makes it more difficult to detect while stealth. I had to put on the Filcher's Cowl and the Emerald Leather Sabatons, which gave me enough stealth not to be seen by the Fellhounds. I did, however, use Distract every time to make sure that they wouldn't see me. Once you have uh, enough stealth, uh, there is really only two spots which might cause concern. Uh, towards the end of the hold, there's a door in this ramp right here that's flanked by two Fellhounds. I was able to get past them by using Distract and going behind them. At the end, you're going to come across Cassius, and when you approach him, you're going to get a, a notification saying that the objective is complete, and it's going to start some RP, which you do have to sit through as he is not attackable uh, during this time. Once he finishes uh, his channeling, there will be a small explosion, and this is the trap that we put on one of his items that we helped him steal back in one of the previous phases. And so you're just gonna need to DPS him down, um, make sure you're not like me and actually kick some of his casting abilities and he shouldn't be a problem. Um, if you forget like I did, you can just use a health pot and you should just be fine. And uh, once you kill him, you can loot the Dream Eater right off of his body. And that's it. Uh, once you have the Dream Eater, you can actually go back to Farad and Ravenhold and turn in the quest. And he is going to give you the Dream Eater. And there you go. It's a pretty fun quest and uh, you get your class weapon. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this quest chain and if you think the Dream Eater is worth it.